All right, I wanted to talk about um, the initial step in conducting research. So this can be a little confusing because a lot of times we think, okay, we want to conduct a needs assessment and we want to find out what is the problem. Yes, you do want to identify the research problem. Absolutely, that's one of the initial steps. But actually, before we even identify that problem, or maybe even part of identifying that problem, is conducting a literature review. So the first thing, identify a relevant and important topic through review published literature on the related topic. And then we're going to develop a research question, right? You're not going to say, oh, my question is, I want to know why... Um, emergency responders are dying of heart attacks on the job. I'm going to review some of the literature about emergency responders and some of their health issues, and that's going to lead me to that question of why are they dying of heart attacks, which might lead me to a hypothesis of, well, they're dying of heart attacks because, and then, or I think they might, you know, they are having increased cardiovascular events on the job because of their dietary habits or because of the toxins that they are inhaling on the job. Um, anyway, that was kind of my big takeaway there was identify the topic through a literature review, which is going to lead you to your question, which leads you to her, your hypothesis. So that first step is identifying a research problem, but how do you do that? You look at the literature, which leads you to develop a, um, a well-considered research question. So that is my takeaway.